Hey there, how's it going? Get up here. Uh, I've just watched a YouTube video, well, a series of videos, but I'm Kibitz, which is, if you haven't checked it out, you should really check it out. Like, they're fucking awesome. Um, I really like their videos, and I definitely suggest if you're just getting into Satisfactory like I am, I'm a complete noob at this, you should check out their channel. They got a really good series of, of tips and, and, and creative videos and all sorts of things that really get you into this. Now, I don't normally do videos like this, um... I'm, although I would like to get into more gaming videos on my channel, I'm primarily for gaming a streamer, uh, and then for my YouTube channel I've been doing mostly like Dungeons and Dragons videos, but I would like to branch out a little bit, and I thought this might be a good little companion video for those wondering. Now I'm Kibitz did a intro video for new players that are looking for the perfect starting point. One problem with that. He didn't give any references when he was explaining where those starting points were. He just kept saying, oh, it's over here. And if you go over here, you'll find this over here. The problem is we don't know where here is in relation to where you start or, you know, even what direction it was because he had his HUD hidden. So there was no and he was flying over top. So we were seeing things from a bird's eye view. People had no point of reference. We, you don't know where you spawn, you don't know which way you go, things like this. I thought I'd do a short little sweet video on how to get to the po the point in the northern forest that he said was like the best starting location. So let's get into that and I'll show you which way to go. So we're going to go to new game, okay? Make sure you choose northern forest. We're going to skip the intro for this. We're just going to check, um, we're just going to go uh, starting locale. Okay, now we're going to start game. Here we go. Here we go, we've started in the northern forest. Okay, now the main thing that you're looking for is there's a there's a road. I think you normally start north of it if you start in the same location. There's a main road that's like a, a big truncated like arterial road that runs through it. I uh, usually find it south of the starting location, at least that's what I do. Now this road runs from the west to the east, okay? Now, there's a lot of cool things to the east. I definitely want to explore that direction once I get further into the game. But for the starting location that he suggested for us, it's to the west, the westernly direction. I mean, roughly west, sort of like south by southwest or south, southwest by west, whatever. Anywho, continue following it along west. Um, if you're smart, you'll put on your weapon as you may be encountering dangers along the way. So make sure you have your weapon on. Um, we're gonna go here. Now, here's one of the main landmarks that you're going to see. Okay. Um, this landmark right here that sort of looks like a person or maybe a backwards bear or something. And then this post right here. Oh, go away, bushes. This post right here that has this bridge going on it. Okay. We don't have to go on it, but we do want to go know that just as we pass it, that's where we have to go. Okay. So once we've just passed it, now it's got a little bit more of a phallic, maybe giant stand-up piece of poo type of shape to it. Um, once we get just past it, okay? So here we are, we're still on the arterial road. Oh, I thought I was getting attacked. I was like, oh god! So here we are on the arterial road. See, it's running west-ish. It's running east-ish to the north west of us, I guess. The northern side of it. Um, you're going to see... The tree is kind of obscured a bit, but you're going to see these two big cliffs that come up. And then you're going to see a break in the cliffs. There's another way to the west further along the road that you can go as well. But And there's usually a uh, one of those big old balls on legs walking around. Big old bean, Mr. Kibitz called it. Or I'm Kibitz, sorry. Anyways, there's this break right here. Uh, I'm not sure if these broken trees are always there. I've noticed them every time. But they're always there. Walk through in between here, and voila! Here we go. The promised land. This is where you need to go. This is this is the starting location. Nice and easy to find. Okay, it's, you see the uh, there's the the bridge here and stuff like this. So once again, I do suggest if you're new to Satisfactory and you don't know what video I'm talking about, search for I'm Kibitz. It's I M K I. B I T Z. I'm Kibitz. Just search for that, and then he's got a really good, really good series of videos. One of them being the starting locations, basically where to go and stuff like that. I'm not affiliated with I'm Kibitz. Um, he doesn't know I exist, 
and <laughs> so like I'm not I'm not like pumping into the channel because like I owe anything to the person. I'm pumping into the channel because there, it's an awesome channel. Go there. Uh, but I did was a little disappointed in that one video just because he kept saying, "Well, here and over here," and I have no idea where here is. Uh, but now you know where here is. It is on the northern half of the road that runs east to west, and you want to follow the road westernly. So follow the road to the west, and on the northern half of it, you're going to find this wonderful clearing. Hello, Bean. What are you, fat? Anyways, yes. So check it out, and hopefully, hopefully, you'll uh, get a little more information out of there. Anywho, uh, that is it for me. Stay healthy, stay safe, and have a good one, eh? Oh, hey there. If you want to check out more content from me or even see some uh, live gaming action, check out my links to the Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and YouTube below, eh? Also, if you're a content creator looking for help with, like, graphics and things, you know, like animated alerts and stinger transitions, well, check out the links to sign up for your chance for me to help you out for free. I've done this stuff professionally for years, and today I've helped out a lot of streamers and content creators with, you know, like, overlays, logos, basically anything they need. What's the catch? Well, I mean, there is none. I give out these services for free, but stream the progress and make a community around it. In turn, this sort of gets me recognition, subs, and donations. Yeah, it's kind of a win-win, eh? So check it out, and maybe you can get some help from your new Canuck buddy. Have a good one, eh?